John Leibensberg and I'm the tuba player with the Norwalk Symphony Orchestra. Today we're going to learn a little bit about the history of the tuba, how it works, uh, some of the different genres of music that the tuba is involved in, and some of the most famous tuba players that have and currently are uh, in our world. As you can see, this is a big instrument. The tuba is the largest and also, as a result, the lowest pitched of all the brass instruments. But even though it looks so different, in many ways it's very similar. Like all the other brass instruments, the tuba has a bell, it has a lead pipe, which leads to a mouthpiece. The tuba also has many valves that are connected to various lengths of tubing. In fact, if you stretch out this particular tuba, you would have a straight line of 26 feet of tubing. The more tubing, the lower the pitch. The tuba, although it's the biggest and the lowest, is actually the newest of the brass family, having been invented in 1835. The tuba enjoys a rich uh, presence in orchestras, concert bands, marching bands, brass quintets, chamber ensembles, jazz, mariachi, you name it. Every country in the world uses the tuba, particularly in the band and orchestral realm. Another type of tuba is that of the sousaphone. The sousaphone is a brass instrument in the same family as the tuba. It was created in 1893 at the direction of American band leader John Philip Sousa, uh, which the instrument was named after. It's designed to be easier to play than uh, the tuba that I have here because it rests on your shoulder. So when you're marching around or trying to play over a band, it's a lot easier. You'll primarily see the sousaphone used in mariachi and also in marching band contexts. Now, although the tuba is probably most well known for playing in uh, concert bands and marching bands and orchestras, it also can do some jazz. Um, I'm going to play for you now what's referred to as a walking bass line. So this is the bottom part, think of an upright bass plucking its strings. Well, this is the tuba version. This is a little excerpt or a short musical segment from Don't Get Around Much Anymore by Duke Ellington. It's a nice little walking bass line that the rest of the song and the melody is built on top of that. Um, at this point, let's talk about some famous tuba players. One of um, the earliest female tuba players that uh, is really, really well known is Constance Weldon, who was born in 1932, and she was the first woman to play the instrument in a major orchestra, and that was the Boston Pops. Um, a legend in the tuba world is Roger Bobo, who was born in 1938. Uh, he is an American tubist, and he's the first tuba player to do a solo recital at Carnegie Hall in New York City. He has played with many orchestras around the world, and now he travels from continent to continent teaching uh, the up-and-coming tuba stars. Another tuba presence is Velvet Brown. She is a professor of tuba and euphonium at Penn State University and enjoys a rich professional career, not only as a tubist, um, but also as a soloist on tuba, chamber ensemble performer, and recording artist, conductor, and orchestral player. Um, Velvet is just an incredible musician and advocate for the tuba. One of my favorite tuba players is Howard Johnson. Unfortunately, Howard recently just passed away, but he's most famous for making the tuba a real staple in the jazz world. Uh, fun fact about Howard is that he also plays uh, baritone saxophone, flugelhorn, bass, clarinet, cornet, and the penny whistle. But really what Howard did was took the tuba and made it uh, a mainstay in the jazz scene. Another event that I'm a huge fan of, that I highly recommend, is that of Tuba Christmas. In pretty much every city, major and small, uh, around Christmas time, 
tuba and euphonium players will gather and they'll play Christmas carols. It's as much fun as it sounds and I highly, highly recommend it. I hope you've enjoyed hearing about the tuba and if you ever have a chance to play one, I highly recommend it. Um, here's a little more music uh, from a Norwalk Symphony Orchestra brass quintet we played a couple of months ago. Let's see if you can guess around what month we probably played this concert. Thank you so much, and thank you for learning about the tuba. Bye! <laughs>